I don't see Mr. Abelheim. Well, we tried. I may know a thing or two about that splendid fellow you're talking about. What's this? Are you trying to blow the gaff? What? Sergeant Abelheim, at your service. I presume you're the Fry Twins Green mentioned. I was expecting you to be a policeman. I was expecting you to be discreet. Henry Green said that you could help us go unnoticed. This is how it will work. I will give you the names of criminal gang members. You will bring them back to me. Quietly. Oh, we'll be as quiet as an old lady. A very hairy, strange old lady that looks a lot like a policeman. Keep moving. 
Walk on, girl. We'd be glad to see him behind bars. Thank you. will be armed to the teeth. No bobbies in sight. Good. Are you looking for me? this to come into the fighter's hands for long. No mishaps. Distribute the dynamite then, and carefully. Someone must Very have good, fled sir. Lambeth Asylum. We want this to come into the blighter's hands without harm. No mishaps.
You seem to want my employer's attention, Mr. Fry. Oh, I positively crave it. But you'll do for now. As you like.
Alicia, thank you so much. What is this place? It's nice to meet you both at last. This is Babylon Alley. Here we make it our business to know the streets and provide children with the opportunity to control their own destinies. Clara, Mr. Green said we might be able to help one another. In exchange for our services, we ask a small favor. Well, why not? You seem to have taken most of my money. Why not take a small favor, too? There are several factories about the city that are powered almost entirely by child labor. Those children work long hours with little pay, and most are not permitted even to leave the factory grounds. They suffer terribly. I need you to save them. A small favor. In return, we offer you intelligence, something you clearly need. Now, hold on a minute. I'm late for an appointment. What are these terms? We accept. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. Down. You really helped us, mister. Thank you. 
cheeky sod. Wait till I get there. That's for you. Ah, there you are. All that stands between you and Whitechapel is the villain controlling the borough. Kaylock has demanded you settle the claim for territory in a gang fight. His loss? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you can put this to better use than I can. Oh, what's this, Greeny? Assassin Christmas. <laughs> Gather your allies. Mr. Rexford Kaylock has agreed to your terms and waits for you at the Whitechapel train station. He's bet his train on the fight. No Kaylock. Hmm. No matter. Attack! Come <laughs> on. 
Oh well, at least we have a train now. It's not all bad. Whitechapel is no longer in the hands of the Blighters. You now have the chance to join our ranks. We welcome all who would stand up to Steric and his cutthroats. You bastard! I'd rather throw myself to the tracks and run Bertha another mile for that dirty bow bag. Kaylock? <laughs> He's left the station. Mel, hello, fancy pants. And who might you I'm Evie be? Fry, and this is my brother Jacob Fry. Pleased to meet you. I'm Agnes McBean. A delight. I thought I was getting a promotion. I suppose I'm out of work now. Come work for us instead. <laughs> I won't bail your heat. You pay better than scraps? Oh, I'm sure we can at least match that. Then may I present to you Agnes and Bertha, lady and locomotive, at your service. I'll be in the next car. A hideout on the rails? What an excellent idea. Yes, it all worked out rather well. Now, I would like to follow up a lead on... Jacob? Is this serious? I'm not doing anything until this gets fixed. I believe I know someone who can help with that. I knew you would, Greeny. You know, a mite of money goes a mickle bit in this city. Think of the power of good you can do with the purse you bring. You talk of a store in London. Well, now's your chance. That there map shows who to speak to. Oh, friends, if you will. Give me a whiff of that sterling. Someone he wanted you to meet? 